Uh, ladies and gentlemen, again, welcome back to another video. Today's flight, again, with the 777, this time the 777-200ER with the American livery and Rolls-Royce engines, which are my favorite engine type of the 777. Um, yes, the GE-115 uh, are pretty powerful and nice and huge, but I think the overall look of the Rolls-Royce are just much nicer, in my opinion. Um, I don't know. I like the... I don't know. I just like the look of them. This flight will take us from Miami over to LA, about 5 hours and 20 minutes, I believe, of flying time. And this flight, although this uh, to this day and age, um, is not flown by the 777 anymore. It's only flown by, I think, the AC-21neo by American Airlines. Um, it used to be a flight done by the 777-200ER, so uh, we're going to go ahead and honor the 777 and fly this route with the 777. It makes sense. It's a longer flight, um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Plus, I mean, I don't fly the 777 a lot anyways because it's only in P2D, and P2D is, you know, is a sim that is getting kind of old. So I'm curious what V6 will uh, bring, um, but yeah. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started before we start FS the crew um, because I'd like to do real-time fueling. What we're going to do is we're going to set up the payload, and then we're going to start the uh, PMDG ground operations, the automatic ground operations, which is also 55 minutes, so... That uh, perfectly syncs up with FS the crew. That's 260 passengers. We'll go next page and put in the payload of or cargo of 18.3 tons. That should give us a zero fuel weight of 368 exactly, which is perfect. If not, that's fine. It's realistic. I mean, we can't expect a exact zero fuel weight. We're going to go to ground operations. We're going to go short, and it's going to start already. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to put the planned fuel for today's flight, which is 87 tons. Just for good measure, we're going to add, um, we're going to do 87 decimal two. Uh, you have to type it out. Um, so plug that in and uh, that's an uplift of 52 tons. So that should load in 15 minutes and 30 minutes. And with that, we can start our pre-fed event. Hi, Captain. How are you today? I am great. Um, so, yeah, the aircraft is powered down again. Uh, engineers were too lazy, so we're gonna do the power up ourselves. I like to. I know it's not realistic to keep the aircraft powered down. Uh, the reason I like to do the power up myself is so I get into the habit of knowing how to do it. Um, because if you don't do it, you'll forget easily. And uh, so I like doing it myself. Plus, turning on the aircraft is kind of fun. So, go and get started. Battery turned on. We'll get the three lights, which is fine. Uh, the C electric pumps are off. The demand pumps are off. Wipers are off. Any gear is down. Alternate flaps is off. Bus ties are auto. And we can now uh, use the external power. We'll select both and wait for the aircraft to power up. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and check our aircraft documents. We'll verify the QRH and everything is available, that we have all the documents here. Um, MEL, AF gross rates, uh, load sheet, all that kind of stuff. Technical logbook, the flight log, the captain's debrief, route manuals. Verify we have the Lotus OF, uh, latest OFP on board um, and the latest charts. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to go ahead and get my charts ready, my flight plan. I'm going to look through the flight plan. I'm going to check the NOTAMs. Things like that, and then we're going to continue once the aircraft is completely powered up and done all its self-tests. <laughs> Alright, so... Um we checked the flight plan, checked all the charts and everything. We're going to go ahead and continue. So, ARU, light on, verify the on bat light is extinguished. Wednesday's lights arm, this recorder switch as required, which is guarded. Um, status, check the status. So, engine, oh, sorry, the hydraulic quantities, oxygen pressure, and the status messages, which TCAS is fine. Go to engine, verify the oil quantities, which are checked, and then we go to communication and reset anything that needs to be reset, but it's not simulated. 
I guess metrics will review. So nav ADRU. All this looks normal. So we'll cancel. And we cancel any second flan uh, second uh, pages. Research fans are off. That's because we have the uh, air conditioning card connected. So for the air conditioning cards, recirculation fans and packs should be off. That's fine. And ADRU line mode. That's normal as well. Got about six minutes of alignment. Now check our maintenance documents, um, so on and so forth, emergency equipment, we can take a little look here if we wanted to, so fire extinguisher is there, crash axe is there, the, um, the emergency escape ropes are stowed, oxygen masks are good, everything looks good, and uh, life vests and all that good stuff will also be there. Um, so that's fine. We'll go to the aft overhead, verify all the guards are closed and no lights. Let's check any cargo temperature selectors as required. Um, but that's checked as well. Uh, no, oh, that's something that Simbrief I think could add is um, a randomness of whether we have pets or a kind of special cargo on board that requires, you know, uh, different temperature selectors for the cargo or different temperatures in the cargo holds. That's maybe something that Simbrief could add in the future. Um, because right now you're just you know just choosing at random okay today we'll decide to have special cargo on board um, next circuit breakers verify they're all pushed in which they all are um, they're obviously not simulated so that's fine so let's set the parking brake and uh, we probably don't have sufficient pressure so we might have to um, pressurized hydraulics, uh, but we do have the chalk, so it can be a big deal. I'm going to continue, get ACAR set up. Now I'll request uh, ATIS, or get our ATIS information. All right, so the first officer has just started the walk around. Um, we unfortunately missed our call, but that's fine. We're going to continue now with the uh, FMC. So, verify on the IDEN page the model, the engine type, and the nav cycle should now be up to date, which it is. Position in it, was copy, and paste the GPS position. And we'll continue to the root page. From here on out, we're going to go ahead and do a root request since the through the data link, some of these values have already been updated. Okay, there we go. We're going to go into departure and arrival. Departure. Uh, it's actually 08 right now that I remember. 08 right. Let's see, GLADS 2. Bags transition. Boot. Departure arrival. ILS two four five left. Uh, gabble. Evu. That's inserted. Go to root. X page and we'll verify with the flight plan. All right. Activate execute. Go to performance in it. We're gonna reject this information, even though most of it is correct. Um, 85, that's checked, crew CG of 30 and 0 on the step size, 0 fuel weight, we're expecting 368 tons, so we'll just put the OFP data here, and then the reserves we're going to keep blank to give us a reminder that our load sheet has not yet been uh, received and that these values have not been updated yet, for us just a little visual reminder. That's good. I'm going to go to alternate and I'm just going to plug in the alternates for today, which is just Vegas. Plug that in so that's done as well. Next, I'm going to go to legs page, root data, load the wind, and execute. I'm going to go to VNAV, forecast, load. We go and then we're going to check the SID. Go 
to progress page, verify the distance. 2109 with the flight plan. So 2109, 2114 is checked. 17.8. Let's go to fix. Plug in KMIA. 25. We're just going to continue the engine out procedure. Let's continue straight. Um, runway heading or tracking runway. And then for 25 miles, and then hold in there. So that is checked. We're set flight level 180 for our transition altitude as we predicted 75 miles. We should see a point um, on our flight plan. We're now and we'll plug in anything we require here. But this uh, departure does not have any um, VORs. It's a complete RNAV departure, so we're going to keep this as an automatic tune. Then we're going to go to VNAV. And we're just going to verify transition altitude to set. Everything else here looks fine, looks good. Next page, step 0, optimum 387, max 419, recommended 380. That's checked within cruise level 400, is fine. And that's also good. Next page, um, it's doesn't really concern us at the moment for now. Back to root, we'll root copy, go to root 2 and verify the data here is also set, which it is. So we'll go back to root 1 and we'll go to inner ref just to remind us that some things need to be updated. And we'll start with the EFES. Nav can be engaged. We can use track mode. Uh, 0 09 or 2 is our runway track. Initial climb is going to be 5,000 plus 100 because we don't have ATC clearance yet. And we're going to go ahead and cycle through the displays here. I think the first officer normally does this or the pilot monitoring, um, but I'm going to go ahead and do it on here as well. So just verify everything looks normal here. Continue with the oxygen test. We're just going to do different tests, make sure it's set 100%. System page is fine. We'll initialize the flight. We'll go to day load and load. Yes. In the meantime, everything else here is set. Complete. There we go. Date. Just check UTC time is fine. No V speeds. Toga, Toga, flight directors. That's all checked. Everything looks good here. All this looks normal. Put you down here. We're on. We're on Matsum, so one to two decimal eight on Fiverr. On the right. And that's all checked. Trims are fine. We set. Pre-flight checklist. Pre-flight checklist. Oxygen. Tested 100%. Tested 100%. Flight instrument. Heading 139. Altimeter 3011 set. Heading 139. Altimeter 3011. Pre-flight checklist complete. All right, we're going to go ahead and also get ATC clearance. Um, nobody's online, so. Initial climb 5,000, squawk 2,000, and the SID is checked. And we'll go ahead and do a departure briefing, so we'll just set up the panel. ACX reduce thrust, flaps 5, packs on, NTI is not required, NADP 2, 1500, 1500, SID concerns none. And we can play the brief, or we can do the briefing ourselves if we wanted to. Ready for the departure brief? Go ahead. Hi guys, here's the load chute for you. Have a safe flight. Thanks. Alright, so our actual zero fuel weight is the same. And the reserve, which is the alternate and the final reserves combined, is 15.6. The thrust limits. And we'll do takeoff calculations. So copy FMC data. Addition is dry, thrust training. With takeoff, flaps optimum, auto, auto. Go keyboard, winds. 
drill, fix zero. We'll go with takeoff, calculate. And flaps five is sufficient. E speeds 136, 140, 156. Assume temperature 64. So takeoff 64. 1.32. Um, this is off because this is calculating PAX auto, where this one is not calculating with PAX just yet. Ops 5 CG. And uh, we're going to go 1500. Next page. E1 136. 140. 156. Is plugged in. 156 in here. We now can also be engaged now. And um, that is complete. We'll start the APU. The air conditioning card should be disconnected. We'll go and select the packs under the circulation fence. There you go. Can we pressurize the hydraulics? Roger. You're clear to pressurize the hydraulics. Before start procedure. Are we clear to pressurize? Yes. Okay. Then we'll set our trim. All right, guys. Everyone's seated. We're all buttoned up and ready to go in the back. Thanks. If you need anything, just let me know. Thanks, ICAS. Before start checklist. Before start checklist, taxi and takeoff briefing completed. Before start checklist complete. Communications are okay and the brakes are set. Thanks. Okay, commencing pushback. Clear behind, and you can start your engines at your discretion. Start engine two. Starting two. Oil pressure. Start engine one. Starting one. Okay, the tow bar is disconnected and the equipment is clear. Clear to disconnect. Flaps 5. Flaps 5. Before taxi checklist. Flight controls. Checked. Ground equipment. Clear. Before taxi checklist complete. Clear left. Clear right.
take off. Check. Thrust set. One. Speed check, flaps one. Flaps up. Speed check, flaps up. Checklist. Landing checklist complete.
plus hundred. Approaching minimums. 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 One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Reversers normal. Sixty knots. Heli traffic from here, six seventy nine, clear Check. two four right, taxi the uh, echo to the rest. indoors. Bank traffic, skyway traffic, bank 55, and about three miles out on the island. Shutdown checklist complete. Alright, so that is the end of the flight. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any uh, comments, questions, or concerns, please let me know. And uh, I'll be happy to read. Till then, till next time. Peace.